It's officially been one year since I made the big decision to move to the Philippines from the US. I left behind my old life in the States in exchange for a new experience with my fiance. And I must say, a lot's happened over the course of this one year. Yeah, a lot. But I'd like to share my personal experience as an American living in the Philippines. But first, I'm gonna hit the gym. As you can see, there's no gym at my condo anymore since a typhoon destroyed it a few years ago, before I moved here. But after all this time, it hasn't been repaired, which is a bummer. So I go to this gym about a 10 to 15 minute walk away. You can even see my condo from here. What do you know? I got this whole place to myself today. I'm gonna finish my workout. I'll show you guys some more in a bit. This is one of the reasons why I'm not buying a car because where I live, the street is so narrow and there's like hours and hours of traffic if you have a car. If you have a motorcycle, like, yeah, it's pretty easy to navigate through the small spaces, but a car, yeah, not happening. Usually on my way back from the gym, I like to pick up a couple of street foods that interest me. One in particular that I really like is called Xiao Mai. Definitely one of my favorite street foods out here. There's also a public market right at the crossing near my condo, so I usually pick up a couple of things if I need any out here. I usually get my groceries at the mall, but I don't mind coming down here just to pick up a couple of last minute vegetables or fruits. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff here, so it's kind of cool. Before moving here, I had three destinations on my mind to reside in, either Manila, Cebu, or the province. I ultimately decided on Cebu but not Cebu City, Lapu Lapu City. So I get a taste of the local Filipino lifestyle while also having a little taste of the modern lifestyle living in the condo. I'm not gonna lie and say it's a perfect lifestyle. There are a few issues with this place. But hey, at least they're trying to make something out of this place. Aside from a few downsides, I still live a pretty comfortable life in this condo. I've met some pretty cool people during my year here. I made quite a few friends and I've had some interesting interactions with the locals. Most of them, if not all, are pretty much Americanized. Most consume American media on the daily, so it's not hard to strike a conversation or find some things in common with them. Just like in any country, you'll see the good people and the bad people. But luckily for me, I've made quite a few meaningful connections with the locals out here. Honestly, it wasn't hard at all. I've met a lot of people simply just skateboarding and going to the gym. I've made a lot of friends that way. Pretty easy if you ask me. It was also fun experiencing the culture out here. It's always nice to take on a new perspective of life and see what's different in other countries from your own. There was this annual festival going on. It happens every January. This was my first time experiencing it. It's called Sinulog. I made a full video about it, I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out. But it was all around a great time and I learned so much about the history of this country and just overall it felt cool to be part of the Filipino community for once. I will say that one part of Filipino culture that's huge is karaoke. You're going to be hearing a lot of that while you're in the Philippines. It's not always paradise in the Philippines. For tourists, yeah, it's fun and there's lots to do over the course of a short vacation. But once you get settled, it becomes your average everyday life. No matter which country you're in, you'll eventually get settled into it and it becomes normal. Most days you won't be at the beach chilling 24 seven, as even that can get kind of old. There are various things to do, but you'll end up getting settled real quick. Traveling to all those fun destinations seems great, but you won't be spending hundreds of thousands of dollars every week going on vacations. It rains a lot and it's very humid, some weeks it's tough to even get two sunny days in a row. If you're a foreigner and you can afford a nice place to stay, you'll be fine. But many locals live in tougher environments and can't do all the fun stuff you see tourists do. The power also goes out for hours at least three to seven times a month, even when it's not raining. But you know, it's all part of the experience. Because honestly, most of the time, everything is just fine. 
Even after a year of living in the Philippines, me and many other foreigners experience the same thing. We end up getting a lot of stares by other Filipinos. It does get a bit annoying over time, but it's just something you got to deal with while living here. Sometimes it kind of feels like you're a movie star, even though you're not. Some people, they want to take a picture with me. I guess they're just fascinated by us. Who knows? But yeah, even after a year, you still get a lot of stares. So don't take it too personally. Next, we're going to talk about the food. Filipino food. And I must say, I love Filipino food. I mean, just look at all these unique, delicious, exotic looking dishes. I'm pretty sure that those of you watching would at least want to try one of these. And yeah, they're actually pretty damn good, I must say. I do miss Mexican food, and sometimes Filipino food is almost the opposite of Mexican food, but I still like food. But yeah, I've made so many unforgettable memories here. I've met so many people had so many different experiences, it's insane. I would not have experienced any of this if I had not left the comfort of my home in California. And on top of that, my beautiful woman gave birth to our beautiful baby boy, and I couldn't be happier. Look at that little guy. I have traveled to a couple of other countries like Japan and Canada, etc., but the one that left a lasting impression on me is definitely the Philippines. To be fair, I've been here longer, but it definitely is the most interesting by far. Being in the Philippines did teach me that patience is important. Unlike in the West where I could pretty much get anything I wanted almost instantly, in the Philippines things take a lot more time. Even running simple errands or trying to go on vacation, things can take a lot longer than you may expect. So just like most people here, kind of learn just to go with the flow so I've learned to try not to stress too much about certain things and to let things happen if things don't go well there's always another day to make things right but do I miss my old life in the US most of my family lives in Los Angeles but I did live in San Diego for a large portion of my life and also Bakersfield I have all my friends and family in California do I miss it of course I do, but I'm also glad that I decided to come out here to the Philippines and establish a new life, something brand new. 